Alright guys, how are you today? I'm bringing a new video on my channel. So today guys, I need your help. I am in a very, very sticky situation. I am trying to make a decision with which realm I should be playing on for the new reset. Some of you guys will probably not even care and you'll probably just be clicking on this video because it's probably like, oh, clickbait. I've probably put Psycho BP reset in the title or something like that. So I'm very, very sorry if I have clickbaited you. But if you want to watch this video and help me out and it may be if you want to like watch my series when I do do a series, on my channel on Psycho PvP. That'll be absolutely amazing if you want to follow along. I'll try and make it as good as possible for you guys and basically just give you another YouTuber to watch. Um just another bad YouTuber to watch on Psycho PvP. So hopefully you do enjoy. But um yeah so pretty much so if you didn't know Psycho PvP is going to be resetting hopefully at the end of this month. Hopefully it's very very soon because I really want this reset to come out as soon as possible because right now I'm not really doing much and I never know what I'm going to be doing in like at the end of the month because that is like two weeks away, three weeks away. I could, you know, I could be doing something different in that time. So I really wanted this to come out as soon as possible. No one knows just yet. There hasn't been a date announced, but I've been talking to some people and apparently it's at the end of the month. Uh, some people said it was the at, at the end of the month. Some people said it like it was definitely going to be this month. So that could be any time really. That could be this week. That could be next week. It probably won't be this week because it's literally like it's Friday today as we're uh, doing this. And they normally give some like time in advance for you to like actually like um like some like warning pretty much so it'll probably be next week or the week after hopefully it's the uh next week because then i'll just really want to play on it but um yeah so no actual date set already but uh yeah it's definitely going to be this month hopefully you know don't quote me on it that's basically what i've heard so don't have a go at me if it doesn't reset this month um it'll hopefully be very very short after so pretty much I'm wanting to get back into Saga PvP. I haven't played in a very long time. Haven't played like properly in about, I would say about two years. It's been very on and off for me. I still love the server. This is like the first faction server that I ever played on when I first started out. Uh, I literally remember five years ago, I was taking my GCSEs and I found this server and I was absolutely in love straight away. And I haven't like freaking stopped playing since. I've always been going on it and it's absolutely amazing server. If you haven't checked out Saga PvP and you don't know anything about Saga PvP, it is an amazing faction server. It's got so many unique things. It's like a headhunting server. It's basically the server that started headhunting and pretty much a lot of things in a lot of faction servers nowadays um, because they just love the server and they just want to make it just like this. So pretty much, I need your help. I am in a bit of a dilemma between a few uh, realms. So pretty much, I'll get into it right now so you can actually see my compass so I can see what I'm actually doing. So pretty much there are so many different realms on this server. There is, uh, you know, there's Wither, there's Skeleton, there's Zombie, there's, uh, not kind of training, uh, there's Guardian Realm, there's Magma, there's Blaze, there's Witch, and there's Overlord, which is the newest one, even though there's only 16 players on. But it is played by Creeper's Edge, so I'm really, I don't know why it's barely got any other players. Like, I've been looking on and off for the past like, month, and there's only been, like, less than 100 players on it, which is kind of weird. I don't know if it's because people know that it's, like, resetting soon. But um, yeah, only 16 people compared to like Skeleton, which has like 200 people on all the time. But um, only 137 at the moment, but it is early morning in the UK. And this is very like a Europe slash UK based um, service. So um, yeah, that's perfect for me because I'm from the UK, if you didn't know. But pretty much, I'm in a bit of a situation. Um, I basically made a straw poll for you guys to vote on. Uh, to basically help me out, I don't know if the winning vote will actually be the one that I make. It really depends on what I want to do. Um, it really depends on like the server that I want to do actually on the day. I probably won't even know until I actually <laughs> on the day of the reset. Um, it could it could be you know it could come down to quite a lot of things. It could come down to which server is reset first, which one has the most players, which one has, has the most hype and stuff like that. So it really goes down to all of those. So pretty much I've made a list of different things for each server realm. So I've pretty much gone down to skeleton, overlord, and zombie. I don't really know about zombie. I kind of just put it in. It's got no votes on it so far uh, already, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I basically put down Skelly and Overlord, which is basically Overlord because all the YouTubers go on there, and it's very active and very competitive. Skeleton, I've got the top rank, and I'll basically get into each thing just to give you a bit of like an explanation for which, um, why I should be doing each realm. I really don't mind which realm I actually go on. Skeleton is the one that I love the most because I've been playing on it for so long, and also I've got... I've got the top rank, as you can see, I've got Overlord rank, and I've also got an alt as well, which has Bandit, and it also has, it has Bandit, and then it has Snowman uh, kit, so I'll be getting about six sets of P4, or like eight sets of P4 every single like couple of days, which is pretty OP, like, with those kits, I will be super OP, um, and if I go over to like a server like Overlord, I'll barely have anything, I will probably buy a rank, like a high up rank, I'll buy a rank, like, I'll buy a rank, 
I just don't know if it'll be like the top rank. Uh, it just depends on the sales because I'm kind of broke right now. But if I am going to play on that Overlord server, I will be buying a rank. Um, because I I like to have a rank because I like the I like the perks of having a rank and stuff like that. But um, yeah, other things about Skeleton it is headhunting like every other one. Uh, it's only headhunting uh, like the original one. Apparently, the other one has like headhunting 2.0, which I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna have to learn that, which will be pretty interesting if we do go into Overlord. But um, yeah, it's no MCMMO. Um, I got top rank, alt with bandit, and stuff like that. I basically just made a list of reasons why. And it is a busy server. It's the busiest server. I don't know if Overlord is going to be busier. Um, when it comes out, uh, if it resets, I don't know if it's going to be way busier than this one. But at the moment, it's only got like 16 players. So I really don't know. Um, I'm really confused by that. So that's kind of drawing me away from it. Uh, cause I would love to have like more content by like you know raiding more bases and like having people like fight and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, that is probably a big reason to actually play on Skelly. Um, and also if I do play on Skelly, I don't know too many people on Skelly anymore. Like it, people that I used to know on this server, like Libra, like all those people, like Deadly Mirror and all of those people, like they've pretty much moved on. I think so. I haven't. I pretty much don't know anyone. These are like all the new kids. I have no idea about anyone really. I know of some people, but not really. So I'll basically be making my own faction, which could go bad, but could go really good. If I make my own faction, it will pretty much mean that I get to decide what happens. I get to decide who comes into the faction. I'll be the leader. I'll be able to build whatever I bloody want. I have access to absolutely everything. But the other downside of it is that we won't be in a very powerful faction. We could possibly be a powerful faction in the future. But um, yeah, the downside is that will be a very small faction. Um, I won't be able to be on all the time. So we could pretty much get raided. I'm quite rusty with my faction knowledge. I know how to do some stuff, but um, I don't know how to build build all these like massive, huge, like new defenses and stuff. So uh, and I don't know if any of my viewers that would probably join my faction know that either. So if I do do it on Skelly. Yes, I'll have my own faction. I'll be able to decide all the things. I'll be able, be able to be the boss and be able to have access to everything. Um, but I'll have a very small faction with people who I trust. And I don't think the people that I'll be inviting know too much about factions. But I bet they'll be able to learn stuff. So it could be good, could be bad. I have no idea. But um, yeah, so we can go up to Overlord right now. I'll go over to Overlord and um, we'll get into the reasons why I would like to go into Overlord. So obviously... The main reason I want to go on Overlord is because it's got the newest stuff. It is pretty much, as you can see by here, it's got Headhunting 2.0, which I don't actually know what it is. It's got something to do with like souls and stuff like that. I really have no idea. And then it's got custom enchants, which I haven't actually played on yet on um, factions on Psycho, which is pretty interesting because they don't have it on Skelly. So I feel like that would give me more stuff to do with custom enchants, like making an absolute sick god set. And this has many other features and perks. I don't know what those many other features and perks, but... I have been watching like Ryan series and that like on and off a bit like and I've been seeing a little bit of the stuff I don't know too much about it but there's like different types of creeper eggs there's different types of TNT which is pretty sick I don't know if that's actually on Skelly because I haven't been playing it um but yeah that could be the perks I don't know if that's actually the perks or not but um yeah it's very more custom this server and it's also the newest one and also it has got the other YouTubers on it like Ryan it's got Raven it's got Sword I think it's got Twin it's got who else is on it um who else is on it uh factions framed i guess um but yeah it's it's got a lot more youtubers on it so we'll be able to make a lot more content with them hopefully i could team up with them maybe i'll be an enemy towards them i have no idea um that's another thing about joining overlord as well i could be by myself in a very small faction um or actually no wait no 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 no. it's, it's the other way around actually <laughs> with overlord i'll be in a big faction because i think i'm probably going to be joining clickbait with factions framed i believe if not then i'll be all alone but i'll probably find a big faction to go on and um, hopefully it'll be like factions framed or maybe even in blur i have no idea um i'll have to like try and get my contact book up and basically like contact some people and see if i can get into a big faction um the good thing about going into a big faction um you know everything will be done for me i won't have to worry about like spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours basically all my day building bases and stuff which is very very hard if you don't spend hours and hours and hours on this freaking server you will get blown up straight away and uh yeah so that's the good thing about joining uh overlord realm because i'll be in a big faction who actually have people who know what they're doing and i'll be in good hands but the other thing that is bad about it is that i probably won't be trusted straight away if i'm trusted then whoopee that's absolutely great but i have a feeling i won't be trusted straight away 
So that means I won't have access to all these things like building bases. I'll have to basically ask for permission. I'll probably be in a very small box in the server. I mean, in the uh, like in the main base, I'll have probably have my own little box where I can do stuff. I'll probably share it with someone or something. Uh, so I'll be very limited to what I can do. Ob obviously, I can have my own vault and stuff. I'm going to do my own things like that. But base wise, I'll probably only have a small box or something um, like a vault and a grinder or something like that. Unless I am trusted, which I really hope I am, because, you know, I know these people from modded factions. Uh, I know these people from modded war. So hopefully these people will let me into the faction and trust me in that because I'm not going to I'm not going to scam anybody. I think I think um, I think uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? A betraying and stuff like that. And inciting is actually bannable on the server. So I'm really not going to be inciting anybody. So hopefully they just trust me well because I'm not about that inciting life. So if you guys are watching this, Factions Framed or, you know, whoever, Ryan, <laughs> if you're watching this, if you want to invite me to your faction, I am a bit rusty, but, you know, I know what I'm doing and I am a very hardworking player. So hopefully you invite me to your faction because I'm looking. I'm kind of like an orphan. I need, I need, I need a home. Please give me your home please 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 but um yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say um i don't know what else i've really got to say um small small factions as well i guess I, i'm basically just reading off the list that i made i know this is gonna be like a really long video just me rambling on but i just really 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 want your input guys I know that like the vote isn't probably going to be the final decision because it will probably come down to like which server resets first and stuff like that. So it's basically just an idea of what you guys want me to do and stuff like that. I'm not saying that the one that wins is going to be the winner and that's what I'm going to do. It's just giving me a better idea what like people want. So like if it's a really tight decision, like if one's got like, I don't know, if one's got 20 votes and one's got like 18 votes, I'll probably just go with whichever one I want. If one's got like 20 votes and one's got five votes, then I'll probably go with the one that has 20 votes, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say. And, uh, oh, actually, no, one more thing. There is another option on it, which basically is skeleton or new server or overlord or new server or zombie or new server. So pretty much what that is about is I don't know if there's going to be a new like realm coming out. Probably not, but I just put that in just in case if there is a new realm coming out. Yeah, again, I don't know if that is an actual fact, and I don't know if a new server is coming out. Uh, I just put it in there just in case if there is a new realm coming out for like a certain YouTuber that is making his own realm or something or her realm. I have no idea. Um, that I just basically put that in just in case. So it's like skeleton or new realm or new realm or overlord or something like that just for like backup and stuff like that. So if you know, if, you know what I mean? Like hopefully you understand that. And um, yeah. And also, by the way, guys, for people that subscribe to my channel for modded factions or Minecraft War or whatever you call it pretty much uh it's now come to the end of the season i believe um there's gonna be like a there's gonna be like a new map revamp i think or like i don't know uh i'm just waiting to see what happens with the modded fashions so there won't be any more modded fashions uh series uh for now but hopefully we'll be reviving that back when the new map starts if there is a new map i don't actually know if there's gonna be a new season or whatever uh, hopefully there is because i really enjoyed it and i feel like i didn't do enough on that season so hopefully there'll be another season for you guys and um yeah if you did subscribe to my channel for modded factions and you do want to see more you know stay subscribed it will probably be in the future so uh yeah hopefully that happens and thank you guys for watching if you have got to the end of this video please just comment down below like uh chicken nug no that's that's not me <laughs> no put down corn nuggets i don't know i've been literally obsessed with like vegetarian chicken nuggets lately so put down in the comments down below corn nuggets i don't know why i feel like i'm a ryan impersonator chicken nuggets was literally the first thing that came to my head for some reason then i realized that i was like a ryan impersonator which is really really awkward people are probably going to be called me like a ryan fanboy now but um yeah probably am but uh yeah so put that down below if you've actually watched till this point in the video and uh, also leave a like on this video as well if you are hyped for the factions reset hopefully it'll be coming out at the end of this month or even before that i have no idea and um yeah please give a vote down below and leave a like on this video if we can get this video to 10 likes that'd be absolutely amazing and hopefully have a nice rest of your day guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye